Hey chess enthusiasts, today I want to share an incredible game by George Leandras Dula Sobor where he made 20 brilliant moves, he sacrificed his queen, rook and knight, basically everything on the board, it's mind blowing and a superb game, let's dive in, Andras started the game with e4, we have the Karo can defense from black and white can go with knight c3, let me show you the variation, take take knight f6 then play queen d3 which is ok to play, black played e5 and queen a5 to recapture his pawn. Castle and here black should focused on kingside development but if he dare dare to capture the knight, he will fall in our trap, queen d8, king takes bishop double check and that's it, king c7 will lead bishop d8 checkmate, and if black plays king e8 then rook d8 will call checkmate, that's a nice tarp which you can play at some of your games, e5 and black two top lines to consider, h4 by white and the idea is to push the gf pawns and lock the bishop's toilet so the bishop will face peer pressure. h5 by black, bishop d3 take take queen a5 check and you know what, a perfect relationship isn't actually perfect, it's just that both people never give up, knight f5 and this knight have a very strong relationship with the light square pawns, bishop e7 will attack it, knight d7 c5 are the main moves to blow up the center, c4 bishop e7 g3, White's plan is very simple to play naturally, castle b3 rook d8 and white should play bishop, b2 but he played rook d1. That's a little inaccuracy because black fire up the center with c5, take, black played queen takes pawn, looking for the g3 soldier, you should play bishop b2 because now knight takes g3 doesn't work as bishop d4 will attack both at your pieces, but in this position Andras played knight f1, undeveloped a piece and black could play knight c6 looking for d-file rebellion. But he captured the pawn, offering the rook and bishop for the queen, white sacrifices his queen to insecure the king, these are black ship pieces, white have nice tactical movements but Andras played knight e3, capturing on e3 with the knight will prompt the bishop to take the knight, leaving the king without pieces to defend its position, that's the idea. So back to the position, we have queen a5, knight g5 king on g6 and white played knight g2, sacrificing the rook because if you capture it then after check, king slides knight captured pawn will lead the end of queen king love story, so in this position, his opponent is like, you wanna slap in my face, I can slap you too, knight takes g3, and now if you capture the knight then black can simply win the rook as knight f4 doesn't work there, king have the free space on f5. So in this position white played knight check, king f5 knight takes f7, threatening knight d6 followed by king takes, knight c4 and you will lose your beautiful queen, so queen e1 may look as a great move but king g2 will attack at your knight, knight runs knight check, takes rook check takes, bishop e2 and here. You will lose your king if you dare to save your queen, so back to the position, black played a tricky move queen c3 because he is a fan of Mikhail Tal, he might want to draw this game by reputation moves, white said, if you want to eat my rook, just go for it, if black says, yes thank you, play knight d6 check, king takes pawn knight check there check, here, f3 and once the king reaches at d4, play bishop e2 and you will lose your queen, right, so back to the position. Black shows middle finger to white by playing knight e4, I have no intention to capture your dumb rook, rook f8 and remember your promise, you can't capture the rook, if you break your promise then after knight d6, king takes pawn knight takes c4 will come, black need to play king d4 forcefully and he will lose the queen again. Unconditional love is when someone hurts you, but because you care about that person so much you choose not to hurt them in return, back to the position, we have king g4 because the king and queen have a well-being love ship, people might think that why I am talking so much about relationships and love, chess like a relationship too, chess is not a game, chess is my life, White need to play knight h6 check, pawn captured knight d3 to play rook f4, and calculate this, it will be a checkmate. So after king takes pawn bishop takes pawn threatening rook f4 checkmate again, and you know what black can't stop the checkmate at all because he have not subscribed to my channel yet, like and subscribe to my channel as well as you want to defeat your opponents, but in this position white didn't find the best move, he played bishop e3, his idea is similar to that tactic, if you capture the rook then after knight check, take check and mate. Ha 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 ha, in this position, black said, if you can sacrifice your queen, rook, 
I can sacrifice my knight, well the idea behind that to reduce some source of attacks in black's king position. So in this position, Andras replied, if you can sacrifice your then why not I? Sacrificing the knight on d5, because if you capture it then after knight h6, pawn captured h6 will lead rook f4 the same checkmating position, so here if you play king takes pawn, what about rook f4 check, knight blocks rook h1 check, king here rook takes knight and that's it. Munch on potatoes, open your wallet wide, the game concludes, the show takes its stride, back to the position, black captured the rook finally, knight h6 check, and you again can't capture the knight because of rook f4 checkmate, so we have king takes h4, now rook f4 doesn't work there because of knight g4, the knight is well protected and you have no rook to checkmate the king, so after bishop captured king ups check, king g6 knight e7, king h7 knight f7 to checkmate you on h8. And the queen can't do anything for black because the king can run, so black played knight c6, attacking to the rook and knight, knight g5 king here check and in one reputation move he captured the pawn. To involve the another knight on f5, it will be a checkmate in few moves. It takes so much courage to face everything you've gone through and remain standing, you're setting a beautiful example for so many people, in this position black played g6, rook to g8 to checkmate black, knight takes e5 protects it and we have an another brilliant move for happy ending, rook takes g6, to checkmate black on f5, what a mind blowing checkmate. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.